Okay. So tell me your name and your age. So, um, I'm telling you about Madeline is my name. I'm 22 years. Okay, great. Um, so what story do you um, get after listening to the audio? Um, I've gotten to like, I, you said what? Yeah, yeah. What, what was the story in the audio that you listened to? Um, it was about Kofi who stole the mother's jewelry made of gold and sold it um, like down, like he sold his less, lesser than what they were expecting from him. And her mother was shot and she screamed, Ajay, while well, they were coming. And then the dad to ask him to write a report, a report about what he did. And so like, it was like, um, oh my, let me see it. And then he was doing that because um, most of the professors, professors in their school, sons too were doing the same thing. So because of that, he also like tried to do something. Uh, and when each time the professors meet or their parents meet at the garden or something like that. They think it's someone from outside who comes in to the campus to steal, but they don't know that it's their own children. Yes. And then also then the the the, 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 the big uh, like the children who are there, who have been pampered by their parents. Yeah. They to uh, they to um they they started uh, they still like no I feel I feel yeah okay so um but have you experienced something like that before mm, not no, really. not really. okay now let's go to the next one uh tell me your relationship with that or how you came by carrying that time. okay. Um, I'm not actually a dancer, but I dance. Like, if I go to church, parties with my friends, school, when, it, when there is a choreography, I join. Sometimes I'm always the leader, and it's like, that's That's it. Yes. Um, how did you learn to dance? Learn to dance. So, um, by watching videos and listening to music, sometimes the beat uh, give you some steps. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then uh, learn from others too. Okay. Uh, tell us uh, a significant event that happened in your life that you think has really changed your life to this moment. Do you remember something that really happened to you? It could be down to it. That happened, like you made a choice or you made a decision, and you feel that decision has impacted you. So, where are you going now? Please, can you repeat the question? Okay, the question is what, what's the significant event that has happened, or is a decision, okay, something happened that you feel like, okay, you decided to do this, and because of that, it has, has some effect or impact on you. As of where you are now. Okay, something like that has not happened. For sure. Yes, because I'm a beginner. Okay. Yes. So you haven't had any like professional experience, so. Um, I had one, uh, a radio drama. Okay. Yes, at school master. Okay. So I think that we were like we we're sixty in numbers. And even though we, we we did the audition online, like how we did this one, so the final day they called us all to come to a hotel. So we went, I told you, we like it was over, the, the audition was over. So while we went there, like they, they said the audition is not over, so they are 
to cast us again. Mm-hmm. And it was like when when I went inside, you were like six, four. But when like when time was going, like people started coming in, mm-hmm. and the directors were saying that that's not all of us, but still many, many people would come. So I was scared. And later on, we did. They gave us the scripts, and we act, and I was part of the leading roles. Cool. That's cool. Okay. Um, what do you think about love? And if you are in a love relationship, what is your expectation? I'm not in a relationship. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying that if, if you are not, what do you think about it? And then, if you, because you don't need to be in there before you start thinking, okay, okay, what you deserve or you want what you expect in the relationship. So even if as you're not in there, when you get in there, what's first of all what's your thinking about it and then what do you expect to gain or do you expect when you get when you get there? To gain in like in a relationship or yeah in a relationship. Yeah. Okay. Mm, I expect like that we both you know like we should be communicative mm-hmm. and we should trust each other yeah. and also we should be friends so that if anything is there but like we can help each other because sometimes some people will be in a relationship they will not be friends but like they will, like how would I say it like partners but like they don't share t- things in common but if you are friends if you play with each other like if you are like if anything, you tell each other, like, if there is something crying, it's like, what do you cry? You can solve it together. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, what annoys you the most? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, lies. Like, mm-hmm. some of lies to me. What annoys you the most? Yes. Has there been any example? Someone lying to you that got you annoyed. Um, yes. Yeah, I want to hear about that as well. Um, I was someone like four, we were four in numbers, we were friends, we were all girls. So it's like um, my father passed out, so I invited them to come. And they like, with the four, like sometimes we always separate ourselves to work away, to work away. So, I have one friend, uh, my, my colleague is Candice, and the other two is Lodina and Priscilla. So, Priscilla is writing an on deck, but it's like she's doing classes. So, I told her, she said, okay, she'll come. No, I did a voicemail and sent it to like all my classmates that they should come and support me. So, I sent it to uh, Priscilla, and she said, oh, if God, uh, if God permits, she will do as she will make it. And I said, okay. And I sent the same thing to Lodina too. And Lodina said, okay, she also, she can't make it on Saturday, but Sunday she, she will make sure she will attend it. And I said, okay. So later on, they did come. But those that are not my friends, and when I told them, they came. But those that have been eating with them, Chatting with them, sharing things with them, they did come. And they went back, gossiping again. And the two girls were looking at the other The other one told the other one that I, I didn't call her, so she's not coming. Mm-hmm. And I said, ah, because of call, but I sent you voicemail. All of them, I sent them voicemail, but they came. Even some of them, I didn't send them, but they came. Mm-hmm. So, you knew that you are my best friend because of. Call, because of call, you said you will come to my father's funeral. Okay, that's that's cool. So. Okay, thank you so much. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say? Okay, so now we'll get to the the acting bit of it. Thank you. Three, two, one, action. Mike, are you stupid? What are you saying? You want me back. What do you take me for? Look at this, Nyamanyama boy. 
I gave you chance, but you didn't use it. And now you're telling me that you want me back. I'm sorry. I'm no more interested in this relationship again. So get out. I said, get out. You're not going. Now let me give you a mat so that you can sleep here and watch over my house for me. Thank you. Three, two, one, action. Hello, Mike. What are you saying? What do you take me for? You think I'm stupid? I gave you, I gave you a chance, but you didn't use it well. And now you are back telling me that you want me back. What do you take me for? Shit. Masa, Masa, there's no time now. Shit. What do you take me for? You think I'm stupid or what? I'm no more interested in this relationship again. So get out of my house. I said get out. My you don't want to I said get out too. I be you know me. You know what I can do. So get just get out. Just leave this place. Just leave leave here. Don't annoy me this morning. I said leave here. I said leave here. 